What's up you guys? What's up world? How you guys doing? So, um, I'm not really a real big fight sports fan. I haven't watched a boxing match since I seen Manny Pacquiao get totally ripped out of a fight when he was fighting Bradley. That was the last time I watched a boxing fight. And I haven't watched a UFC fight in a long damn time because it, a lot of their fights seem fishy and the endings seem very, very suspicious. But I just saw that a long-term champion, a long-time champion, Anderson Silva lost. So I went to look at it and see exactly what happened because I see someone has the clip up there. If you're watching this video, you might want to take it down or private it because Zufa once they find out that it's up, it's coming down. I'm just telling you that right now. Zufa it doesn't play with their content. But, check this out. So I'm watching this shit, and I'm watching how Anderson Silva lost this fight. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Either the age caught up to him, and he's truly, it's truly time for him to leave the sport and just retire. Or this fight was extremely fixed. I've seen Anderson Silva take way harder punches than this. I've seen him get beat down more than this, especially in the Sundin fight. Sundin won, the amount of punches that he took unguarded on the ground that the referee didn't call the fight was bullshit. It was crazy. Um, I think that the, I think Herb Dean actually called the fight too soon. I think Anderson Silva took like one or two, maybe three punches. I would have to go back and watch it again, but I think it was like three punches that he took down once he hit the ground, and then Herb Dean called the fight. Um, yeah, I hate fight sports. Fight sports are just notorious for bullshit. I hate fight sports, and this is the reason why. I've seen some bullshit in fight sports. I remember this one time, I was watching a fight between, what's the Street Fighter guy's name? He was up there, he was real, everybody thought he was great, and I kept telling people, once he goes to the UFC and has to fight mixed martial artists, he's going to look like shit, um, Kimbo Slice. I remember when Kimbo Slice was fucking fighting Houston Alexander, and Houston Alexander knocked Kimbo Slice down on the ground, and instead of charging him and beating him up and gaining the upper hand, he waited for Kimbo Slice to get back up, <laughs> and I'm like, this is the most bullshit I have ever seen in my life. Fight sports suck. They suck ass. Now, I haven't watched Bellator yet. I might get Bellator a chance, but there's no chance in hell that I would ever spend 50 something dollars on a goddamn UFC fight. Unless it's GSP. Because GSP fights seem to, you know, they seem to go to the card. I've never seen a GSP fight look like bullshit. But everything else is a bunch of crap. Just straight up bullshit. Just you look at it and you go, wait a minute. This doesn't even make sense and it doesn't even add up. So, I'm not going to act like I know everything about fight sports because I don't. There's some things that I don't know about. But just to, I mean, just a person just looking at everything that Anderson Silva has went through as a fighter and then looking at how this fight ends, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Unless you're going to explain it with age. You can't explain it with power because he's fought guys with more power than this dude. And taking bigger shots than this. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Go ahead and drop your comments down below. I'm done. Peace.